Welcome to this tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial we will go through how to create effectively 2D sketches. 2D sketches are really important and this is a good example. I will just place it on top view so we can see that it's uh, rotational and for the purposes of accuracy I will just get more out of the mesh which means that I select bigger part and then I will go and create a 2D sketch which is for evolved surface around the axis. Why I did this selection? Because I want to create what we call stacked section. This will take many sections from the mesh and we'll put them all together into the sketch plane. I'm ready to start my creation and as you can see there are a lot of points here which are not suitable for auto sketching. In this case, we need to do the things manually, but we created a lot of uh, easy to do features which I will go through now. The first way for you to reconstruct these sketches by drawing lines. You just select the feature line and you can create them. I will undo this now, but it is more suitable in this case if you use the selection of the points to get the most accurate results. How this function works is just by holding the left mouse down, you can just paint on top of the points. This will select them and the software automatically provides you a small floating window for you to choose what this shape is like. For example, in this case, this is a line and I can fit a line. You can select and you can also add other points to the selections. If you want to remove some points which are not desired for this operation, you can hold the Alt key and you paint again. In this case, I have these points and I will fit this as a line. If I just go back, I want to say that there is a faster way to do this. If you just in the normal mode, if you just hold the shift key and you paint, the software automatically will find the best curve that fits through these points and will create this. This saves you a little bit of time. I will create another line on top. So in such a way, the workflow is you actually reconstruct the lines before you continue. The next step would be to use our corner trim command. Corner trim command has three options and I will go through all of them. The first one is the corner trim. In a similar way, you can just hold your left mouse button and paint on the screen. And what we want to do is just tell the software to intersect these lines in space. I, I can do this by holding the left mouse button and paint on top of the two points that needs to be connected. In such a way I can easily reconstruct my shape to a rectangular um, view. There is something more that if we want, we probably want to apply some fixed size fillet here if they are intersected for the machining and you know that this is the radius that you want to do and in this case, let's say I have a radius of 5. As you can see now, we are in this mode for the fillet. And the same again, I just hold my mouse button down, paint all on top of the, of the corner, and it will try to create the fillet. In this case, this is too big, and fillet of 5 millimeters is not working. So probably I need to go for one. As you can see, the software automatically rounds the, um, the corners. You can also right click and undo or you can press Ctrl Z. Another option that you have is what is called automatically at dimension. This is useful in some cases and the software automatically will provide you with the radius as a um, dimension on the screen. I will just create this here. So this is how the corner trim and the fixed fillet works. But I will just go and try to do a little bit more. I will go now and we'll create a couple of more lines. I create this one, be here, 
and probably this one will be my line. So again, I will try to repeat the same uh, approach. We'll go to the corner trim, and now instead of actually intersecting them, I probably want to fillet them automatically, but like me, I don't know what is the radius here. Probably I want to get the best of it from the scan data. So that's why I will use the option which is called Auto Fillet. The Auto Fillet works again in the same way like the other two commands. You just drag your mouse by holding the left mouse button down and you paint on top. As you can see, the software automatically analyzes the data underneath, intersects the points and creates a fillet with the best radius. In this case, because this option is enabled, it added this dimension, which you can always remove later. So in such a way, I can just paint and will create my fillets here. This is quite useful and quite fast to create quickly your sketches. So this was the manual way of creating this by going through these different modes, but I'll show you that while you are in the main mode, you can actually do everything uh, which we did so far, but with the shortcuts. If I hold the Shift key while I'm here, as you can see, it paints in yellow. If you remember, this was dedicated for um, primitive fittings, so I can zoom in here, hold the Shift key, paint, and it will actually create the best primitive that can fit this. In this case, it's a line. And I hold the Shift key and create my lines here. So now, if I hold Control and Paint, you see the color is actually the color of the sketch. And if you remember, this was for my um, corner trim. So I can just do this and automatically, just holding the Control Shift, it will actually create the corner trim for me. For example, here I can just hold the Shift key and create my line, holding Control key, it will create this um, corners. While I'm here, if I hold Control key, the software works in this way. If there are two points that are not connected, it will apply corner trim, which means it will intersect. But if I hold Control and paint over a point that it's connected, it actually will apply the, the automatic fillet operation. So in such a way, you can very quickly around your corners, I can do this once, and if I do again, it will just round um, the edges. In such a way, you can very quickly, we can recreate this profile with the shift. I create this here, control to create the sharp corners here. Let's just finish off this here. This is a line for me. This is also a line, and with the control, we'll just intersect this, like this one, and now I can round them, again with the same, hold the control, left paint, this will actually will create a rounding here. And we are nearly done, I will just probably round them here, we'll finish off with the shift key, we'll create this, as you can see this is um, arc here, automatically decided that it's an arc because it's a better. Well, this is not a good approach because I probably, in, in, this will be too much for me. So then in these cases, maybe I can just create a line here and another one here. And again, using the shift key, we'll delete this and create this line here. This happened because the data are very noisy here and the software doesn't know how to fit this data if it's a line or an arc in this case. I will just hold the control key and then again with the same control key it will round the, the corners for me. So this was the way how we created our profile. We can now just select it and say that this is a my revolved surface and as you can see we reconstructed this very quickly in a very efficient way.
I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.